Hello everybody, I am David and today I'm going to be talking about the superhero box office. Uh, there's been a huge change in the superhero box, or a huge add-in, I should say. Um, first, let's start off with Guardians of the Galaxy 2, okay? Um, so, as you know, this is a whole list uh, comprised of a hundred and something, I can't remember right now exactly how many, hundred and something movie last week. Guardians of the Galaxy was at 11 with 783 million. The movie has now moved up to number 10, moving past Spider-Man 2, Sam Raimi's uh, second film in his trilogy, uh, making $816 million now. And between the original Spider-Man movie from 2002, uh, not too many superhero films that are not called Batman or connected to the MCU have passed the same Raimi Spider-Man trilogy. So Guardians of the Galaxy, which is an MCU movie to be fair, but it's not an Avengers movie, uh, has finally broken through it, which is really cool. Uh, congratulations to that movie, making it to the top 10 superhero films of all time. Um, I think that's a really big success to be noted on. But I think the movie we're all here to talk about, <laughs> the real big uh, game changer in seeing where this is going to land in the superhero box office in its first week is Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman has made it to 223 million. That's 60, uh, 60th place in the superhero movies uh, of all time, uh, right between Green Hornet, which is at number 59, and Jumper, which is at 61. Uh, that's really a huge accomplishment. No other female superhero movie can say they made it that high. I think the highest before it was Catwoman, which was a miserable $82 million, uh, I believe, over a little bit over that, $82 million, uh, or $83 million, I forgot right now. Uh, yeah, that's... Um, that's really, really good. And this is its first week, so uh, we are obviously predicting that it's going to uh, continue to climb up this list. It's at 60 right now. I can see it making another 200 million next week worldwide. Uh, yeah, Patty Jenkins, Gal Gadot, all those, the cast and crew of that movie should be very happy right now. Warner Brothers, come on, man, give us that sequel. I mean, this movie right now is above Green Lantern. Speaking of, I decided to take a look also at where it ranks among its DC films. Now, I have a whole list here comprising of a lot of DC films, and if you only count DC movies and no other superhero movies, Wonder Woman is at 14, uh, still above Green Lantern, and right under Constantine. Um, that's really good. I think it's going to pass Constantine easily, as well as Batman and Robin, and hopefully a couple more superhero movies that are on that list. Um, I'm I think it will make the top 10 DC films of all time, for sure. I think it will get up to where the rest of the DCEU are, and they're all very high on the list as well. I think... Uh, Batman v Superman is 800 million worldwide, and that starred Wonder Woman in it. And obviously, Wonder Woman was a huge highlight uh, in Batman v Superman. Even for people that were disappointed with it, I think people came out thinking, "Hey, you know that Wonder Woman character, though? That was a that was just a pretty good character." And considering that this movie is getting a lot of really good reviews, uh, positive reviews more than Batman v Superman, I think. Uh, I would like to see it hit a billion dollars, but I'm not getting my hopes up, especially since Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 isn't, looks like it's really slowing down right now at where that is, but you'll never know. This is a different kind of superhero movie. We kind of got the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, so people probably aren't clamoring. Well, they want more Guardians of the Galaxy, but they're not as excited as the first female superhero movie that's doing extremely well, and uh, we're all happy for that. And I think a lot of people want to see this as much times as they can, uh, because who knows when the next best female superhero movie will come out. I'm rooting for Captain Marvel from Marvel Studios, so 
uh, this is this is a good sign. So guys, that was the superhero box office. Those are the two most important ones. All the other superhero movies of the year have been slowing down very, uh, very much. So none of them are really making much more money than they already have been. Um, so with that being said, I'll keep you updated every week. Uh, the more Guardians of the Galaxy and Wonder Woman grow on the list. Uh, I'll probably be doing more audio videos, especially if there are not big updates. Uh, but right now, this was a big update because it's Wonder Woman. That's why I'm doing the video this way. And Spider-Man comes out next month. So that's going to be a huge thing when that uh, premieres. Um, and uh, tell me what you like. Did you guys like me uh, incorporating the DC movies only. I want to try doing that for some of the other films. I was going to do Guardians of the Galaxy and how it ranks uh, with the Marvel Cinematic Universe only. I think it's the fifth highest, uh, right bef behind the two Avengers films, Iron Man 3 and uh, Captain America Civil War. I think uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 comes right after that. So uh, that's really good. And Spider-Man, I'm very curious on how that will rank among the MCU films, as well as the other Spider-Man films as well, uh, because it's going to be interesting. But um, it's looking good for Wonder Woman so far. Guardians of the Galaxy is on the right track. Until next time, guys, like this video, subscribe to my channel, especially if you are a huge fan of superhero movies like I am. And until next time, take care.